like you yourself are a product as well and it matters how you market yourself so i think in that sense this program is really valuable and um specifically working with you has been wonderful so i think uh what i find with this program is you can really mold it to your needs and communicate each step of the way which i've been doing and Eugene has been a great cheerleader and accountability buddy for me. Um, and it's great to have someone who has that um, industry expertise and kind of bridge between like the technical side of things as well as like, I, I guess, like business side or uh, executive presence. So um, he's really like supporting you each step of the way. As I mentioned before, uh, you are my client and I'm super honored to have you uh, in my program. I'm super honored to serve you. So uh, could you uh, describe how my program affected you? Kind of like where you were before joining my program and uh, after joining my program? What was that like? What was the transformation that you were seeing so far? You were still in the program. We're still working together. But like what kind of transformation before and after you, you've seen so far? Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm honored to be your client as well. So for me, um, I think I was like working on certain things consistently, but um, everybody has their blind spots. So I think, you know, just like having you as a sounding board, but also to provide feedback um, has been tremendously helpful and to uncover those blind spots and just to be held more accountable to certain things and really have that encouragement to put myself out there. So I think those have been big things. And I guess, I mean, the program in itself is valuable in the sense that uh, as engineers, we might not necessarily think about other things that we need to work on, whether it's like optimizing your LinkedIn or um, maybe like marketing yourself, uh, networking more so. so I think those have been tremendously helpful just to uh, nail down. But um, I think uh, there is another layer, the mindset that you have as an engineer or any professional really. But um, when you're going into interviews or just uh, doing your day to day, I think it's important to just like be confident and go for it even if you fail at first. So I think for me, it's been more uh, about the tools, but as well as that mindset transformation. Yeah, definitely. And what really inspiring for me that I like that you start putting yourself out there and you actually started producing um, video content because this is what i share with my clients a lot this is what helped me to uh, scale my career this is what helped me to make the difference in my career um, and your um, effort is as absolutely tremendous and uh, you know your first videos are definitely way better than my first videos because uh, back in 2017 i just grabbed my phone messy background i don't know if i had inappropriate things on my background i don't care i think there was bathroom at some point and it was not clean or something like something along those lines um, but i like how um well how you taking like baby steps like uh, small steps but you know moving in the right direction and your second video was absolutely amazing like look at that like the background the little plant because like i need a little plant because um uh rashad constantly tell me like man like you need a plant or like on the bookshelf like you just have a make it wool so like just with your lines so put something out there put something interesting and i keep delaying it because like i'm so busy but like i i i saw your video and rashad said like see like she has a plan and this is her second video <laughs> and i'm like okay okay i will get a plan i will get a plan so um who would you recommend this program for um 
I think I'd recommend it to both new or aspiring developers as well as seasoned developers um, because oftentimes, uh, not saying all engineers, but some engineers tend to be focused on just like the technical side of things and uh, they might be leading projects, but not necessarily thinking more at a high level about uh, their presence and networking um and maybe like communicating in a certain way so uh it's essentially i guess you could say like you yourself are a product as well and it matters how you market yourself so i think in that sense this program is really valuable and um specifically working with you has been wonderful so i think uh what I find with this program is you can really mold it to your needs and communicate each step of the way, which I've been doing. And Eugene has been a great cheerleader and accountability buddy for me. Um, and it's great to have someone who has that um, industry expertise and kind of bridge between like the technical side of things as well as like, I, I guess, like business side or uh, executive presence. So um, he's really like supporting you each step of the way. Yeah, uh, and this is something, this is something that you, you write a lot of uh, software developers like overlook, especially in this market economy. Uh, Cause like I, it, I, I talk to a lot of people like on my uh, coffee chats or discovery calls or uh, through my inquiry forms. And like what really makes me sad is when people with five, 10 plus years of experience, they can get a job. And when I look at their LinkedIn profile or their like uh, activities uh, anywhere, right? Either on LinkedIn or on Twitter or anywhere else that, that it's, it's, it's just not there or they're doing something on the side. They like, they created like some sort of community on the side related to their craft but nobody really knows about it I'm like okay i'm there on on twitch i'm doing like my coding videos or i'm i'm i have my blog i have my little slack or discord community but if nobody knows what you do if no if you don't show up as an expert to your niche right to your um sector of the industry like nobody really knows about you and like this is like this is important and also um I, I've been in a situation when um, I got laid off and uh, I think it's important to have somebody in your corner um, and not just like a career coach who will tell you like a trivial things like, oh, you need to do like LinkedIn, optimize your LinkedIn profile or optimize your resume. Because even with LinkedIn optimization and uh, resume optimization, you have to know how to optimize it because even with iOS, right? Like you, you can be a little bit more specific what, what you specialize on. For example, there are companies that are looking for AV Foundation developer and I'm not necessarily in, I'm open to it. But again, if I, if it was my superpower that I would emphasize that or like there are specific companies that are looking for uh, Swift UI developer, which like I have plenty of experience in Swift UI. So I will emphasize that. And um, not a lot of developers um, realize that. And I absolutely agree with you because like um, regarding, uh, regardless what, like how you like, what you call it, because at the end of the day, you are a business of one. You are not necessarily an employee. And this is what I try to communicate to like the whole mind community because essentially, right? Like, uh, yes, you can do uh, career training, career coaching with me, but the same principles you can apply to your business and uh, just add additional, maybe like business training on top of that. But like the same marketing tool, it can work for business as well. So um, you kind of touch a little bit on that, but what is your most favorite part of being in my program? Um, I think my uh, most favorite part is just having a mentor who's been in my shoes. And I think, uh, you know, there might be 
businesses or maybe like coaches that are trying to solve for a problem, but if they haven't been in your shoes, they can't necessarily uh, tailor the experience or the program to your needs. So I think having that and uh, working with you, uh, it's it's been wonderful. And I think the other thing is it's like a perfect combination between the human element and the technical side of things because it's important to have someone like empathetic by your side when um, you're job hunting or just like trying to make it. Um, there will be a lot of rejections and you'll have to keep going despite of that. So I think having uh, that person by your side who's empathetic but still knows how to kind of like push you to keep going is very important. Yeah, yeah, like absolutely. Because in like for for some of the examples that we talked about, um, it's it's important also to have that feedback because I worked with recruiters like a lot in the past and I was a part of hiring committee or hiring committees, hiring teams. And um, sometimes when uh, my clients come to me and say, oh, I was rejected because of that. And I would sometimes provide feedback like, no, like that's not the case. It's just like, sometimes your resume was not on top of the pile and oversaturated market and it just happened or like, oh, like you have a blind spot right there. This is what they didn't like. Uh, stuff like that, what I normally would see in the past, what I closely work with recruiters. I'm not a recruiter. I I'm never work as a recruiter, but um, I've been in those uh, closer relationships with hiring teams and with talent acquisition teams. And um, um, we work well, like, wonderfully together. So um, what advice you would give to our viewers who are uh, watching you right now? Um, I think um, my main advice would be just uh, don't be afraid of failing, take risks, keep trying, because that's the only way you'll learn and grow. And maybe like move more quickly towards your goals. And the other thing is get yourself a mentor, whether it's, you know, in the form of a professional coach or one of your higher ups um, and, or someone within your network, because I think they might have that level of experience or uh, be in a place in their career where you eventually want to be. So um, using them or kind of uh, having them as a sounding board and, you know, maybe you have certain blind spots they can help uncover or even build on top of your strengths. So I think that's very important. Yeah. And Rashad said, like, thank you for sharing your uh, uh, experience with us. Uh, so Shan, uh, keep uh, shining your uh, through your content. And Eugene, thank you for continuing support and your impact you made to others. Yeah. Thank you, Rashad, for supporting us and hanging out with us. Like, we, like, we really appreciate you. And uh, by the way, if you are hiring and you will, you're looking for iOS developers. Um, Zof is on the market and um, I absolutely recommend, and not because she's my client, um, because I'm a man of integrity and if something is not there, I would never go live and say like, hey, hire that person because uh, if something is missing, I would work with my client to, co to cover and close those gaps. But um, working with Zof was absolutely, like absolutely wonderful and um i always recommend her to my recruiters and she has wonderful expertise and she scale a few apps like few startups um, with like and their and their ios apps and those expertise are absolutely in demand so if you are in the of ios developer so grab so when she's available because she's a wonderful professional and um uh, like uh, she really putting herself out there and she is investment she's invested in her personal development which is important and you want to have 
software developers who are invested in their development, who want to better themselves, who want to go to that next level, because this is like, this is what makes a great engineer, the growth mindset and willingness to invest in yourself and keep growing. So, uh, so how people can find you either if they want to network with you and connect with you, or if they want to hire you as an iOS developer, what would be the best way to connect with you? Um, so my DMs on LinkedIn are always open and also I'm on Twitter, which I use admit, uh, less frequently, but still, uh, my DMs are open on LinkedIn. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, stopping by uh, my live stream. And uh, also, as we like, as you hear our talk through like Zove's journey, and um, if you thought like maybe I need a mentor, maybe I need a coach, I need help with my executive presence, I want to show up as authority in my niche in my industry. Uh, send me a DM. My DMs are always open if you need help. Um, so um, let's just start the conversation going. And everybody who showed up to our live stream, like we really, really um, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I really like my LinkedIn community because I have so much support, so much love, and so much appreciation for like just like really showing up here online uh, and talking to the community. That's absolutely wonderful. And uh, thank you, Zo, for being here on my channel. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Bye.